हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टास्क आई एस टू डे वील डिस्कस लास्ट एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल थ्योरी अंडर यूनिट सिक्स कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू दैट यू हैव कवर्ड इलेवन थ्योरीज एंड ओनली लास्ट दैट इज पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी हैज लेफ्ट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज दैट ऑल द पी डी एस फॉर एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एज वेल एज इथिक्स आर अवेलेबल इन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल and link for that channel is given in description of video so enjoy those pdfs as well and one request is that please share these videos so that others can also benefit from our inputs so let's start today session post modernism post modernism is related to a historical period and this historical period is after modernity that's why it is called as post modernism and according to famous thinker matthew johnson he has mentioned that this post modernity is defined as the period where people disillusioned with enlightenment ideals because earlier during modernism time people inspired from enlightenment ideals but during post modernism people started dissatisfied with enlightenment ideals and these enlightenment ideals can be logic scientific method because now in post modernism people starting to questioning what is logic logic from whose perspective is logical similarly what is a scientific method how you can describe that this is a scientific maybe for different people scientific method and its meaning is different so now these type of questions are arising in post modernism time and this time related with cold war as well as social upheaval in different countries and this theoretical approach of post modernism is difficult to define and delineate because there is no methodology to determine what an post modernism approach is and when we will discuss post modernism in anthropology specifically then these post anthropologists has argued that there is no objectivity in field work in ethnography and implementation of scientific method especially during field work is impossible because they have argued that when any anthropologist is going in the field for field work he is observing those social and cultural phenomena in which he is interested and his own language his cultural background as well as his personal experiences have influence on his thinking on his behavior and these thinking and behavior will decide which part of study he will include in his research and according to post modernist there will always be biasness present in observer's point of view and they can't observe reality or emic approach in true sense and according to them if any post modernism thinker will do case studies or go for field work study he will be sensitive from this approach that means he will take care that when he was doing study that this information is because of reality or because of his thinking maybe any structuralist is going in the field and if is, he is a post modernist structuralist then he will analyze that this model or this structural component is actually present or due to his biasness or due to his interest in structure model that's why he is observing that structure in particular society and according to them any literature or text are influenced by political or social context in which they are written as well as in which they are understood and they have also argued that it is the political power as well as economic wealth which will decide which particular group will be included in text and which type of stories or information data will be present in any literary sources 
रीड ही इज अनदर इम्पोर्टेंट थिंकर ही हैज मैंशन दैट ही हैज स्केप्टिसिजम ओवर टू एस्पेक्ट दैट इज कंटेक्सट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड कंटेक्सट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन वैन एनी वन विल गो इन टू फील्ड स्टडी स्पेसिफिकली इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बिकॉज एंथ्रोपोलॉजी हैज इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ प्राइमरी डेटा कलेक्शन एज अ डिसिप्लिन एंड दिस कंटेक्सट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन शोज दैट सोशल एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल कंटेक्सट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेटर दैट मीन्स इफ एनी रिसर्चर इज गोइंग इन टू फील्ड दैन हिज सोशल आइडेंटिटी हिज बिलीफ हिज पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस ऑल दिस विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन कंटेक्सट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन नाउ सेकेंड इज कंटेक्सट ऑफ एक्सप्लेनेशन इट शोज दैट वट एन रिसर्चर विल बी ऑब्जर्व इन एनी सोसाइटी इट विल ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन हर बायसनेस सेकेंडली his interest in which components of study as well as his interest in surrounding of that society this two factors also influence her study now this concern that is context of investigation and explanation context of investigation shows her mental beliefs her perception second is context of explanation these biasness in second case will arise when she will study any particular society as well as his surroundings so these concerns are present higher in cultural and linguistic anthropology because in this sub branch of anthropology we discuss culture in relativistic manner that is we follow principle of cultural relativism and we try to follow amic approach that's why there is chances of biasness are higher and cultural and linguistic these are more subjective discipline whereas in archaeology and physical anthropology especially in physical anthropology there is focus more on data evidences facts that's why these sub branches has more objectivity and less chances of biasness of any observer post modernist also argued that earlier anthropologists try to give their interpretations and further their justification to show that this is actually present and this is not due to their biasness that means you can consider any example if any functionalist will study different aspects of culture then he will try to give any usefulness or any function of different cultural traits even though these cultural aspects have no use in present times but any functionalist will try to give his interpretations so this approach is criticized by post modernists and again they have mention that issue of power and wealth political power and economic wealth have influence on literary sources and due to which there are some underrepresented viewpoints of different classes for example lower class or lower caste or minorities or women so these are vulnerable or underrepresented groups because they lack economic wealth as well as political power to have their influence on literary sources so this was another criticism by post modernist and they try to give some space to these vulnerable or so called backward people in their literary sources and this approach is also known as agency theory because there is focus on individual behavior individual thinking and this agency approach explains how an individual agent shape culture that means how influence of an individual his behavior on the culture of that particular society so now you can relate that these points are going against our earlier theories like culture personality theory where focus is on defining model personality basic personality or national character studies of ruth benedict or margaret mead these thinkers has defined that some basic character or some basic traits are present in some people but here is focus on more individualistic approach focus on individual behavior his dimensions his thinking 
आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड क्रक्स ऑफ पोस्ट मॉडर्निस्ट फर्स्टली दे हैव मैंशन दैट देर इज नो प्लेस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिविटी और साइंटिफिक मैथड इन प्रजेंट टाइम्स बिकॉज दिस आर अगेन बेस्ड ऑन बायसनेस ऑफ एनी ऑब्जर्वर और रिसर्चर दे हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट इशू ऑफ अंडर रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ सम ग्रुप्स इन आवर सोसाइटी स्पेशली इन लिटरेरी सोर्सेज बिकॉज लिटरेरी सोर्सेज और के स्टडीज डिपेंड्स ऑन इकोनॉमिक पावर as well as wealth of any individual here they also focused on individuals approach that means they have neglected earlier studies like culture personality school or their focus on model personality basic personality approach now what is methodology of post modernist thinkers one unique and main point of post modernist is that they attack against any theory or methodology attack against theory you can relate with this franz boas idea because he also mentioned that we should not focus on theory we should only focus on data collection but his idea was different that we should focus on diversity and if we generalize things in form of theory then individual variations or diversity will be neglected so some points are similar of post modernist with franz boas but again post modernist has issue with even method of data collection as well that was given by franz boas so there are some differences as well you can connect these points according to them if you try to organize your knowledge in a systematic or organized way then you will lose any diversity or observation of individual behavior that means they are focusing on anti rules anti systematic anti organized manner to study anthropology secondly there another method or there another concept was deconstruction here deconstruction means all earlier theories or data or facts that are collected or present in our discipline anthropology then you have to deconstruct that theory or data to define that this is actual fact and this is our biasness that means they want to deconstruct any available data or theory to differentiate biasness of researcher and to collect pure data now there are some different post modernist i have not discussed them in detail because there was no mention of any special post modernist thinkers in our syllabus we will discuss some of them so that you can mention in your answers now michael foucault he was considered a post modernist especially in history because he has mentioned that history is represented as a chronology of facts and these facts are non questionable but during historical study there are different layers of history and in between different layers there are some facts some dimensions some unconscious objects are present which are not studied during historical period that means he tried to show that earlier studies has some lacuna and these facts or these unconscious efforts of some people these are mostly vulnerable people and their efforts are not highlighted so this was his approach and due to this criticism he was termed as a post modernist secondly jean franco is loitard according to loitard there is a crisis of representation that means he has mentioned that present literary sources or case studies or field work has focused on some part of our society only and this issue is not only in anthropology but in different philosophical literally or other languages also this issue of misrepresentation is present secondly clifford gates we have studied his approach as a symbolic and interpretative anthropologist but he has also given his points on post modernist as well he has raised questions on adopting political stances of anthropologist also on modes of power which are inscribed in practices ideological assumptions of different anthropologists and he has mentioned that somewhat there is a tendency to relate anthropological study with colonialism racism 
or exploitation by masters and these all are related with so called western or developed world so he has again questioned anthropology as a discipline which is dominated by western world now other different thinkers are frederick barth and jean budyard i think these three or four thinkers are enough if you want you can study other thinkers as well now post structuralism although this is not mentioned in our syllabus but i have mentioned it to show that how earlier structuralist or post structuralist approach is different and how this post modernism is not as a theory per se because this is an approach where focus is on deconstruction of earlier theories and this theory can be structuralism this theory can be functionalism this theory can be culture personality school in every aspect they will criticize earlier thoughts earlier methods and they will try to give new definitions and new approaches so post structuralism this came after structuralist has given th their theories so they have criticized structuralist because structuralist focused on giving a model building that means structuralists are trying to give a framework throughout their study and try to add every dimension of culture or society they have studied in in this framework only so that they can define cultural or social components under this structure and some of post -struct structuralist are bordio but post structuralist has criticized that in this approach of model building or giving a framework there is lack of representation of participants behavior and the meaning according to that participant in this structuralist approach secondly structuralist approach are giving its structure or a model which is relevant for that present time that means this structuralism is static and mechanical in approach but if process of social or cultural changes are to define then these structuralists are lacking behind so these were some criticism by post structuralist about structuralism but it's unfortunate that post structuralist has not given any way to remove these criticisms they have just try to identify some limitations and their focus was only on deconstruction of earlier theories so you can mention this as a criticism of post structuralist now contributions of post modernist post modernist thinkers have given another anthropologists that is their successors to reflect on their work that means now anthropologists have opportunity to rectify their studies because now they can easily identify what is their biasness in facts and what is actual facts that they have collected during their studies so this will help in redefining of different approaches in anthropology and this give an opportunity to correctify earlier mistakes in our discipline secondly by this post modernist has also given an any anthropologist an opportunity to determine their own standards during their work because now discipline provides an opportunity to focus on any individuals where it is an observer or it is an object to represent their views or ideas so any thinker can collect information according to his ideas and there is no need to adjust that information or data in any structural or functionalist approach only so this increased innovation in our discipline you can write these different points thirdly they have criticized earlier ideological motivations of anthropologists and they have tried to differentiate political power and economic wealth from our discipline so that our discipline focused on core concepts where focuses on simple societies vulnerable people like women old people minorities and their problems will be highlighted in different countries at different platforms and this also increased attention to factors 
which will contribute in increasing knowledge that means here different factors are included like social background or cultural background of any individual political affiliations of any thinkers or political affiliations of object which are studied so these factors are now will be incorporated during studies so you can mention about reflective firstly reflective anthropology that is correction of our discipline given space to innovation now any anthropologist has an opportunity to retwine his own standards now and thirdly focus is on factors which are contributing to our knowledge that's why we can demystify our earlier knowledge as well as collect data according to focus on deconstruction method now limitations there are some limitations of postmodernist as well so critics argue that postmodernist focus on a moral model that means they are giving focus on underrepresented or minorities or women in their studies but they are not giving any objective or scientific method to study any cultural or social aspects and this excessive focus on underrepresented people will create an political biasness in our discipline that means now anthropologists will try to give excessive importance to these underrepresented people and in this way now the model or basic personality you can consider in culture personality school now those aspects will be not represented in a proper way that means mainstream data or mainstream life will not be represented in approach to represent vulnerable people secondly they have extremely relativistic view because post modernist thinkers are giving excessive focus on individual approach and then this extreme relativist view will even justify slavery satya system adultery so these extreme relativist view also have negative effects on our society as well as on our discipline thirdly mckinley has argued that this extreme individualistic view is due to western emphasis on individualism and due to that multi individual cultures that means idea of basic personality or model personality and which are found in eastern society is not given representation in post modernist approach thirdly if excessive relativist view is taken into account then universal human rights will be violated you can consider it by understanding the system if someone is justifying such a system according to their culture and according to native or amic approach then human rights of that woman or that individual will be violated in light of focusing on cultural relativism so from this contributions and limitations we can say that postmodernism is a ongoing debate and we can also relate that postmodernism is not a theory per se this is an approach to demystify or deconstruct earlier theories as well as giving a direction for future anthropologists to study data to collect data and analyze data in a particular way so that individual biasness of any researcher will have less or limited space in studies and we can conclude that this is a ongoing debate and has contributed in refining our discipline our literary sources so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this lecture don't forget to like share and subscribe task is after this now we will cover some topics from physical anthropology If you have any query or suggestion then you can comment below that's all for today thank you so much